Hi everybody and welcome back. Today I want to talk about um, the Fast Track series of leveled readers. Now um, many of you will be really familiar, already familiar with this particular set. Um, I'm sure that you've seen this box in the classroom and uh, these particular titles inside of it. So you've got um, hip hop, Drugs and Sport, Earthquakes, the Green Belt Movement, and so on. This is, uh, let's see, Human Movement, Cars, etc. So this series um, we use for two purposes. So one of the purposes is to assess students' um, reading level, their comprehension level when they are unable to read at grade level. This uh, literacy diagnostic kit uh, for grades one to four is basically the same format as the one you're familiar with um, for assessing grades uh, nine to 12. So it's the same, exactly the same um, format. The uh, student sheets are the same format. Uh, the only difference is instead of the cards for the higher grades, you're looking at these books from the Fast Track series. But it's basically assessing the same reading strategies, um, finding the main idea, inferencing, and so on and so forth. Um, but you're using it because you've done a WUFUS assessment and you've determined that the student is not reading at grade level. So that's why you're going to use this particular um, set. Okay, so um, you will find in the binder um, there's a sheet in the binder that looks like this. It's actually on page four. And that tells you the grade level of these uh, little fast track series. So for example, um, Move It, which is this one here, is uh, grade one, early grade one. The uh, human movement is mid grade one. And then Cars is uh, upper grade one. And then uh, Underground Rescue is in early grade four, and so on and so forth, okay? So the difference with this series is, um, it is, it does appeal to, um, you know, adolescents. The, uh, if you look inside, you'll see that the content is very much, you know, um, geared for adolescents and, and uh, older kids, but it has been properly leveled so that the actual grade level for reading is, you know, appropriate to the grade level they've been assessed at and they will have success in reading with it in terms of assessing the strategies. On page five of this little booklet, and I'll post this um, in, uh, in Google Drive, I'll put the link under here, it says Fact for Literacy Success Diagnostic Secondary, and I don't know whether I mentioned this, but this was actually created by uh, Rachel Cook, I'm sure you all know Rachel, she was the instructional leader for English and Literacy. So it says here, the, the fact, which classes and grades are the targets for the diagnostic? The diagnostic is intended for grades seven to 12 where students' reading levels are from grades one to four. These students may be in K courses and locally developed classes. This is a cross-curricular diagnostic that could be administered in any class the data collected should be shared with all teachers of each student in order to target areas for direct, explicit teaching of reading skills in core subjects. Rachel uh, Cook developed an assessment package that includes these, but these can also be used as leveled readers. So when we get them, they come with a CD in the back, so students can actually listen to the, the uh, book being read by a professional reader while they follow along in their own book. And uh, again, so they're going from an early grade one level to a grade four level. And the books are, you know, really interesting and the content is interesting and more appealing to an older group. So the books all also come with their own individual lesson plan. And the lesson plan um, that comes with it is just a one pager here. So on it, it has the guided reading level, it has the text type, whether it's um, nonfiction or whether it's explanation or whatever it is. It actually identifies the vocabulary that you may want to pre-teach in the book. And it's looking, it's, it's actually um, gives you a, a, a purpose, the, the purpose for that particular 
lesson. So what are you looking for? Um, it has before, during and after um, reading activities, phonological awareness, fluency and punctuation patterns, and then follow-up activities. So that you can use this to improve a student's reading level. The other thing you can do is you can use the template. So you can use the template that's in the actual teacher's guide. And there is not a template for all of the books, but you can use that to create your own template for the actual books that do not have a template that comes with them. So I would, a lot, most of our classrooms, our high school classrooms, already have this set in it, maybe sitting on a shelf somewhere and, you just, and you've seen it and you don't know what the purpose of it. So take a look around and see if you've gotten it already. And um, if you don't, let me know. So it should be, it should have the actual binder with it. It should have this, this binder. I'd recommend that you take a look at this series. You might find that it's useful in your classroom and, um, you know, for those hard to serve uh, learners. So let me know if you need a set and don't forget to fill in that uh, resource order form. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.